Are China going to take over the world? Um, slowly but surely, yes, they will do. Okay, what makes you think that? Well, because, like I said earlier, um, they are rapidly increasing in GDP, in technology, in population still, and world presence. They have a lot of presence within Africa because they've been giving them good deals to say, we'll build roads if you give us influence, say, for example, in... Um, the United Nations just you know veto certain mm -hmm. things of this disregard not exactly take over the world because if they were going to do that there'd be another war yeah and at this point I actually think China might win versus NATO uh, yeah really like, I don't think Russia would just be like oh I'm just going to join with America this time because China are a bit scary no they're just going to be like playing the field no China is just, just playing everyone mm. and it's doing well but it's come from historic historical um, defiance, I guess. So they've they China for centuries have had a certain um, aura about them. With like the the, the periods of like the of ruling states, the th uh, the three kingdoms period, even more to so to modern day when they had the civil war period and the the fighting against Japan, they have a view of themselves as a celestial empire. That's a word that one of their emperors has used before, a celestial empire. That when trade comes to them, it's not exactly viewed from their point of view as trade. It's viewed as tribute. So China, from their point of view, even from the empirical states, from the empirical kingdoms, all the way up to the modern day communist state, um, they still have this kind of view that we need to look after us first. And everyone else should be tributary to us. Now that's quite okay. a, I mean, I'm aware that's quite a, a, a blanket statement for China, mm. but I mean, a lot of it really kind of does show and seem that way. Do you think that affects the population and their attitude towards people outside of China? Mm, I don't know. I've, 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 the, with the, the limited amount of like Chinese people that I, I've never been to China, so I can't really say wholeheartedly. Mm. Um, but with the limited amount of Chinese people that I've met here, and I was super fortunate as well that I was able to be with my friend at the time who can speak Chinese, he can speak Mandarin, and there was a table um, for about like five um, Chinese students all speaking in Chinese. About four of them were, as you would imagine, toeing the line and say, government's chill, government's fine, they know what's going on, but there was one who was kind of saying, like, you know it's a fallacy, like, you're just a little bit deluded, aren't you? So there's a balance, there's a strange thing, and in terms of, well, we could say nation building, mm. China's, in terms of strength, doing it well, but human rights violations, mm. they're, yeah, doing, horrendous. they're doing bad, with the Uyghur Muslims, for example, mm. um, in like the Northwest periods, um, regions, sorry, of China, they are being literally subjugated and enforced into internment camps, concentration camps, essentially. Mm. Um, but really answering the question, are they going to be a big player, powerful? Yeah. They, they've they've bide their time. Kind of how I said about with the, the Ukrainian famine, the view was to equalise the playing field for the Soviet Union to make sure everyone rises up on a level playing field. Well, a lot of people have to die. And with, um, you, you, we've heard of him, Chairman Mao, the mm. Great Leap Forward enacted many almost similar Stalin-esque policies. For, for example, he wanted people to make their own steel in their back gardens. <laughs> and when you have unqualified people making steel, like fucking you know, mm. with with iron ore, with other things, you're probably going to have a fair bit of injuries. Yeah. But they have your own foundry in the fucking back garden. <laughs> There's yeah. going to be a lot of people fucking dead. Yeah. And so if you try and give a lot of people uh, a lot of, um, the a bit more of the means of production, I mean, it, it good in principle and good, pra not, not good practically. Morally, yeah, give people a bit more, but like do it the right way because... The, the, the ensuing famine of the Great Leap Forward is as the, the steel um, production in their back guns is one example. Millions died. And I, I'm like, not even like millions, is like two or three. We're upwards of like 20 to 30 million people in China mm. died.